or you're on a job and you got to run in there. It's more out of your customers seeing your truck at a Lowe's. Right. Well, I could have gotten Well, I, I can get that or right. I can do that. It puts can you charge this... me what for that? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we don't want to be shopping there. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 378th episode of Potty Talk. Hey, we had a fun episode here. We're going to be discussing the three things that you should never do when launching a plumbing business. Never? Never. Never, never do. ever, never. Wow, and so we probably never did them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> learn from our mistakes. Okay. <laughs> but we'll get into it here in All just right. a moment. Yep, let's hear it. Um, um, so, yes, if you are listening to us right now on... Um, your favorite podcast player or YouTube or whatever. Um, really appreciate if you guys would give us a subscribe or a follow or something so that um, you never miss an episode of Potty Talk. So, yeah, we'd love a review out on out on Apple or Google or wherever you listen to yes, us. Yes, don't be stingy. We'd love that. Okay, share. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, thank you. All right. Three things mm-hmm. you should never do when launching your plumbing business. Okay, let's All right. Hear it. Okay, first. Yes. Never skimp. Never skimp. Never skimp on quality materials. Okay. okay, don't don't take the shortcut of using the cheapo stuff. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Use quality materials that are going to last. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. For the customer. Okay. All right. You know, because when we're starting out, that, that's a mistake we made. We try to get with, you know, the cheap supply house right. or the thing um, <laughs> going to Lowe's. Not that Lowe's has bad materials. Right. There's another reason not to go to Lowe's and Home Depot and those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. I'll get to that. But, but. Be, be aware of the quality of materials. I know when we're starting out, we're trying to pinch pennies and save, you know, it's, it's a right. big concern, sure. okay? Mm-hmm. But uh, we, we, want to, we want the best equipment, the best materials possible. Mm-hmm. So put your foot out there with the best materials possible. Right, so it's establishing relationships with a local vendor. I mean, supply houses. There's yes. Co- most cities have a number of supply houses. It depends on, it depends on where you are. Or you may be in some place so rural, right, that – you may not have a lot of choices, but if, if you do, really start building the relationship with those supply houses um, because hopefully you're going to grow, right? You're wanting your plumbing business to grow, and you, you want to establish a relationship with someone who's going to take care of you. Um, so don't – nick. and the other thing, not to nickel and dime your vendors, right? You know, right. okay, well, I can get this wax ring 10 cents cheaper down the street. Really? Right. I, I mean, really, is that what you're going to do and spend your time worrying about that? The relationship with the vendor, it's more important to have that, um, first of all, the good quality materials, Mm -hmm. but the quality care that that, that, that vendor, that supply house um, has the products. Um, More importantly, will deliver the products to you next day. So it's like if you can text over or whatever, you know, what what your needs are, that they're delivering the next day to you. You're not spending time there at at their place, that kind of stuff. That relationship's worth a a whole lot more than saving a point or two, a percentage, you know, a percentage point or two right. on the cost of materials. Yeah, All we, right. And we did that because yes. we did a consignment of, um, gosh, the last maybe four or five years of our plumbing business, we did a consignment thing. Um, and so, yeah, they would, we, we paid a little bit more, but the ease of use where all we had to do at the time, it was faxing. Yes, it was faxing <laughs> over um, a form to yeah, say, remember that? We had to send the, you know, on stone, we had to chip it out <laughs> or whatever. And then spend, right, right. <laughs> yeah, we sent over on fax and, and they would, um, and it would be a, a form for every truck. Yes. And then the next morning they would deliver all of those items all wrapped up for each truck um, into the, the warehouse and then each plumber got their stuff and loaded their truck and off they went. Right. And so we paid a little bit more for that, but the ease of that, um, and just that they would take care of all of that for us, that was worth it. Right. You know, and, and it was good, good materials. Okay. Correct. You know, now I mentioned, you know, stopping in at Lowe's or home mm-hmm. Depot. Look, it's not that, you know, you may have to do that in a pinch, you know, you're on a job and you got to run in there. It's more out of your customers seeing your truck mm-hmm. At a Lowe's. Right. Well, I could have gotten well, that. Well, I, I can get that or right. I can do that. It puts can you in charge this. me what for that? Exactly. Mm-hmm. And so that's why we don't want to be shopping there. Right. Okay. And and quite frankly, they don't, it's not the same quality of professional materials that you get at a, you know, professional plumbing supply house. Mm-hmm. All right. So yep. never skimp. Starting out, right. never skimp. All righty. Next, number two. <laughs> yes. Never skip. Okay. <laughs> never skip on safety. Safety first. It is, it is safety first. <laughs> I know we're moving fast and, and doing those kinds of things, mm-hmm. okay? But but don't skip on the safety, mm-hmm. okay? okay. Um, it's just, you know, from, you know, having, if you're, you're digging the trench, you know, having, depending oh, on how deep you're going, gosh. you know, ha- having the sidewalls there, you know, those kinds of things. Mm-hmm. Um, when you're, you know, have, having, uh, anytime you're, you're soldering, 
you know, having the, the extinguishing equipment there or, or using the fireproof, you know, um, um, uh, rugs and mats and those, those kinds mm -hmm. of things, um, towels that, that you can, you know, you can block things. Mm -hmm. Always be aware of that. Never skip on safety. Right, and you've okay. seen it. I mean, you've seen news things or something may have happened in your, your area or something, but a plumber dies in, in a, you know, in a trench because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't prepared properly, short right. up, right? That's right. the word I'm struggling for. Yeah, right. it wasn't short up properly. Well, because they skimped, right? And, and skipped, skipped an important safety step. Right. It's, it should be a no-brainer. Right. right. And it's the things and like... Can I say one other thing? Yeah. It's going to, you do those types of, of things where you are concerned about safety, that's going to help your staff, your, your techs, um, know that you care about them. It's just not all about the money or, or whatever. You do actually care about them. As soon as you start putting them in unsafe situations, that's when they're not going to feel very secure in their job. But if they know, man, my, my, my employer is going above and beyond making sure that I'm safe and then they're taking precautions and they're providing me with the materials and the, the, um, the rules and all Preach the things, it, girl. Preach right? It. Um, yeah. then they're, they're going to feel safer and that <laughs> right. will make them stay longer. Exactly. So, you know, employee. the bottom lines we, on this, 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 uh, what we're going over here are things of never to do. Mm -hmm. We're talking about being a professional Plumbing company. Not a hack. Right. Stop it's, being a hack. Okay, I'm, I'm right. going to go. I'm on a roll now. Stop being a hack. Oh. The plumbing industry is a needed industry. It, we protect, plumbers protect the health of the nation, right? You've all heard that. You all know that. You probably have a sign up in your shop that says that, right? Um, and it's, it's a needed profession. It's a needed service in, in every business, in every home, in any place that has plumbing, which is every single building that exists practically, right? Um, so treat it like a professional. Stop being a hack. Pull your freaking pants up. Right? <laughs> right. Come on, you guys. You there wonder, she goes. You wonder right. why, you know, people will say, well, he's, that's a plumber. I, I don't know. I shouldn't pay him more than 50 bucks an hour. It's because of how you're looking. It's right. because of what you're driving. It's because of how you're, how you're treating your profession. This is a career. And you want to know why um, young men or even young women don't get into the plumbing field is because they see these hacks driving around these crappy trucks with their pants half down and looking like and crap looking like they just rolled out of bed right. who wants to be that come on guys build the profession back up to a, an honorable profession plumbers can make great money great money and it is a it's a lifelong career you you have job security like no other no other industry you have job security because every plumbing company we know needs to find plumbers so anyway stop being a hack all right, baby. Wow, way way to bring it. That. No, but it's so needed because we're talking about professional plumbing here. Mm -hmm. So as we're, we're going over these you know, three things to never do, mm -hmm. you know, when you're launching a plumbing business, mm -hmm. I didn't I didn't have the word in there, professional plumbing business. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So we never want to skimp on the quality of our materials. Mm -hmm. We never want to skip on, on the safety, you know, the safety protocols, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and doing the right things there. That also sends a message to the, you know, to our customers. That, that's, that's a value there. When our customers right. see us doing these kinds of things. Mm -hmm. And believe me, your, your customer, even if you're, you're soldering something up and, you know, you know, behind a shower, you know, been in the shower valve or whatever, Mrs. Jones is very much aware of what you're doing Absolutely. and she's noticing what, what you're doing and how, how you're doing, you know, these different things. Or you've got one of the customers that's, hand, that's right over your shoulder the whole time, right? right? You guys have all had that. You ever had that customer? Right? <laughs> Who just <laughs> wants to talk to you the whole time and want to know what you're doing and just kind of follows right. you around the house. Yes. So it's doing all those things again with the safety is even as far as, you know, calling before you dig. No matter, even if you're just digging shallow or whatever, it's just doing those kinds of things. Mm -hmm. That's being professional. Professional and not a hack. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey, so there's one and two. We'll be back with number three here and after this quick break. Yeah. Hey, Plumbing Pro, you wouldn't plumb a house without a blueprint. Why are you trying to build your plumbing business without one? Grab your free copy of my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint. In it, I lay out the exact specs on how to build a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business. Don't risk years of wasted time and money and failure. Grab your Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint now, and it's free. I gift to you for simply being a potty talk listener. Go to the million dollar plumber.com forward slash free plumb like a champion. All right. Welcome back. Okay. So, Hey, we're talking about three things that you should never do mm -hmm. when launching a professional, I threw that word in there okay. now, professional Good plumbing word. business. Yes. All right. All right. Number one, never skimp. Okay. Never skimp on quality materials. Mm -hmm. All right. Number two, never skip on the safety protocols. Safety first, safety right first. on. And then finally, number three, Never sell. Sell. What? Sell. Well, isn't that, that, isn't that what professional plumbers do? That's I why. That's sell. why I'm doing it right. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> you don't have to sell. Professional <laughs> professional plumbers don't sell. Okay, you don't have to sell. What do they do? Okay, 
because Mrs. Jones has already sold. She called you, okay? All right? And we won't go into all the, the psychology there. But what you should do, yes. professional plumber mm -hmm. should do, all right, is first of all, listen. Mm -hmm. Listen to Mrs. Jones. Please listen. Listen. Yeah, it's a leak at the toilet. Okay, and you already probably know what it is. There's Before a Before you walk in the door. You know on the <laughs> yeah. way. Okay, no hot water and it's electric water heater. Okay, 9.9 mm -hmm. .9 times out of 10, it's the bottom element or something. What You know, you already have a good idea. Right. All right. But it's not so much as you knowing what, what needs to be done. Mm -hmm. It's giving Mrs. Jones the opportunity, your customer the opportunity to tell their story. Right. Okay. So they feel heard. Correct. And that's the value. Right. Okay. They Just feel like heard. Just like when you go to a doctor, right? You're on, so you... You go and you've got a cold or whatever, sore throat, sinus, all the things. And you go there. And if the doctor just walked in and didn't even check you out, didn't, didn't listen to you, didn't ask how you feeling, how long you've been feeling this way. They didn't check your blood pressure and temperature and all that. You just walked in. He, okay, yeah, you say you're not feeling good. Okay, here's a prescription. Go fill this because you probably have a sinus infection. See you. Bye. No, you want to be heard. You're sitting on the table. You want to tell the doctor, man, I've been feeling crappy for right. the last week. And here's all, all, everything that's coming out is green and whatever. You want to tell your story. And this, this is my day. I was supposed to go do this. And I got you here. And I got to be here. Whatever. You allow right. them to do that. Yes. Allow. And you would feel cheated if the doctor didn't do that. Same thing um, with Mrs. Jones. And more than likely, as we're saying, Mrs. Jones, we're talked to any we're referring to any customer, but especially with women. And I know I've said this before in potty talks, us women want to be heard. Husbands, if you're listening, there's a little bonus for you. Didn't even charge you extra <laughs> for that. But Mrs. Jones, your, your female customer especially, wants to be heard. She wants to tell you about her day. She wants to tell you about the plumbing, how it happened, where it all came from, what she was doing when it happened, all the things, right? Listen to her. Right. Take the time and listen and truly listen. And then respond back to her question or her, her statement. So, I, yeah, I heard that you were, um, whatever she said, just kind of reiterate it to, to make sure she knows you heard what she said. And this will, <laughs> another bonus, this will be good practice for your wife as well as you're listening <laughs> to your wife. Stay back something that you heard. Right. But listen, listen to Mrs. Jones so she feels like you heard about our problem. Again, more than likely, if it's a, a you know, leaking toilet or a running toilet, the, you already know, right? You, you already know what needs to happen. But you want to provide a great service to your customer. Listen um, as a professional plumbing company. There we go. Would. That's what a professional plumber does, plumbing mm -hmm. company does. They listen to their customers, mm -hmm. okay? And then also, and this may seem, you know, crazy, uh, you know, diagnose. Diagnose the problem, mm -hmm. okay? You may already know what it is. Don't just throw prices now at it. You, well, this should be somewhere between two and 300 right. bucks. Di take the time <sighs> to diagnose the problem. Just because you know you're a master plumber, or a, or a great plumber, wherever you, you want to call yourself, okay? Your customer doesn't know that. Even though you think, well, they called the plumbing company. They know I'm a plumber, so I, I, they would expect that I would know what the problem is. No. Show them. Okay, we've listened to them so they know that they've been heard. We're listening, not just so that we can learn what the deal is, because we probably already know what the deal is, right? We're listening for our customer so that, so that she knows that she is heard, all right? Then we're even though we, we don't have to diagnose the problem, we, we probably already know what the problem is. All right. We're not diagnosing the problem for us. We're diagnosing the problem for our customer, Mrs. Correct. Jones. Yes. All right. So she knows that we went through, we did something. There's value in the, the process of right. taking the time. It's like when you like, I like your do doctor analogy, mm -hmm. analogy of, um, you know, listen, you know, the, the doctor didn't listen to you. You can tell right. you, you know, you feel cheated. Mm -hmm. Well, also if they didn't do the, where they check, you know, put the thing in your ears and they <laughs> yeah. check your temperature and they get it's your like weight. The, the, thing, right. the yeah. tongue depressor. And right. Mm -hmm. and if they didn't do that, you know, feel like, well, how do you know what's wrong with me? Right. Cause we're so, I mean, you didn't, you didn't diagnose me. Right. Whatever. Your, your customer's feeling the same way. Yes. All right. So even it's just like, you know, I, I like my guy, my guy, I remember, you know, I had a, we had a plumber that, even on like for a flapper, oh. he would, <laughs> you know, he would say, what do you do? He was this flapper and we leak it. You know, it's the flapper, but he actually would have, you know, because he was carrying his channel locks, you know, as you go in that initial, you have your channel locks. Well, you know, he would take, make sure that he heard, even if Mrs. Jones wasn't in the bathroom, mm -hmm. would make sounds mm -hmm. to know that he's doing something. Right. So he would take his channel locks and clink, clink, <laughs> hit, hit, the, hit the China, <laughs> whatever. Huh? Okay. All right. Okay. I know what, I know, Here I know we where we're headed. All right. Where we're going. Okay. And doing it would flush the toilet mm -hmm. and do, I mean, just right. to make, just to make sounds. Right. Instead like of just a, walking in there and then walking back out, yep, it's your flapper and it's going to cost you 200 bucks. Right. Right. Exactly. Not a value. Right. So again, one other thing too, listening to your customer and her feeling like she's been heard when she talks to her neighbors, cause the neighbors saw your truck. Right? The neighbor saw the truck in the driveway. 
The neighbors are probably going to say, hey, Miss Jones, what happened? Did you have a plumbing issue? Yeah, I did. Well, this plumber just walks in and walks out. He was only here 10 minutes, and he charged me $500 for a flapper. They're either going to say that, or they're going to say, man, they provided great service. I really felt like he was listening to me, and he really took the time to go through and explain things to me, hear me. That's what you want to do, because they'll talk. All Mrs. Jones is in the neighborhood talk. Yes. Newsflash, they talk. They're either going to talk across the fence. <laughs> Or they're going to talk on Facebook, one or the other. So provide that service. Leave that great um, customer experience um, that she feels great about passing on, you know, to, to her friends and family. There we go. So, you know, diagnose the problem. Take time to diagnose the problem, all right, for Mrs. Jones. And then finally, provide choice. Provide her choice. And in our language, vernacular, vernacular mm -hmm. options. Options. I'm options, going to give options, options, okay? It's not broke fix. Professional plumbers don't do broke fix. No kidding. Okay. If you are, please stop. I'm I'm literally begging you, please right. stop. Well, that's that's what the problem is. I'm saving. I'm taking. I don't want to lie. To, I'm taking care of them. No, that's <laughs> no, you're not. not. You're being a hack. Yeah, okay, being a hack. All not right. offering her options. Not offering her choices. Because even though it may be a flapper, it's may have been going on for a while. The to toilet's five years old. She wants a new one. Maybe she hates that toilet. Offer the option of doing a rebuild, right? And then replace it. She may right. not go with it, but she might. Let her choose. Again, you, we say it all the time. You walk into Walmart, there's not just one style of TV on one the wall. TV. Yeah, there's a TV. There it is. What, you need bigger than that? Why would right. you need bigger see? than that? He's agreeing with you, see? Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> you're a little bubble. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, why, why the customer service person that you could ever find in Walmart may say, well, this is the only size we've got. You, why, why would you need a bigger one? That's, this, that's, all, that's this, all you need. This, uh, that's, this does the trick. You said you want a TV. There's right, a TV. There it is. It's 36 inches. Well, no, I, I'm looking for a 70 that's inch. A, that sounds crazy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the same thing that's happening. Exact same and thing. And again, we're not providing options. Well, we're not going to provide options just to sell. Correct. So I'm going to go to, well, I'll get to that here in a moment here. Mm -hmm. It's not not to, It's not for our sake to sell something. Right. It's for, again, Mrs. Jones's sake of being in control. In this case, you know, she, we want, she wants to be heard. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. know that you check, you know, that you check things out mm -hmm. and then that she has, she can be in control by, I get to choose. Right. I get to say no to something. Mm -hmm. You know, I get to decide what I want. Right. If you just give her one thing, right. then she feels painted in a corner. Right. And, and then again, there's no price perspective. We talk all the time. Go back and listen to my other potty talks. We talk all the time about the psychology of being able to, or offering options for Mrs. Jones. And so I won't leave, you know, we won't get into that here mm -hmm. in, in this podcast here, but, but the idea of providing options, okay, and, and we're going to provide just three options, mm -hmm. okay, not four options, not two options, not five options, not, not you know, three options, and, and here's our push of the day, you know, you need this, you know, this water filtration system or whatever you're, you know, it's going to save the world, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. No, just three options, good, better, best, because that is, that, right. that is the world that Mrs. Jones lives in. We're right. used to a good, better, best. Mm -hmm. okay? All day long. So an example with a flapper, it'd be a flapper, mm -hmm. okay? And then a, a t minor toilet rebuild, a flapper and a, and a fill valve. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we want to do a replacement, mm -hmm. a new toilet, right. okay? Mm -hmm. And we go into that, you mm -hmm. know. Yes. In, in, Maybe we'll put a link or something to some of the yes. past episodes where we, we talk more um, – more exclusively about that. There so. we go. But never sell. Okay? Never sell. So there we go. Three things you should never do, mm -hmm. okay, when launching a, a professional plumbing business. And if you've already launched it, then go do these things. Right. And then stop. No, okay. Stop doing them and go do these <laughs> do, things. Do these things, okay? All right. But ne stop doing, you know, never skimp. Okay. Mm -hmm. Never skimp on quality materials. Mm -hmm. Never, never skip on the safety protocols and never, ever, never sell. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't get into the selling thing. Just okay? provide service. Right. There we go. Provide a good service. All okay. right. There, there we have it. All right. So, um, I was going to say something. No, I already said about social and going to follow us, yeah. right? So, you want to talk about if they are interested well, in learning yeah. more about these wonderful plumbing business well, topics? Well, certainly. Thank you for that. <laughs> nice segue. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. If you want to learn more about this, you know, these things we just talked about here and, and what, what you can do in building a successful, self-sustaining, and very profitable plumbing business, mm -hmm. you can schedule a free strategy call with us. Yes. Okay. And we'll point you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Simply go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash call. Schedule your free strategy call. Yes. All right. C A L L. There we have it. Okay. All right. Great stuff here. Okay. It's good to have you here. But before we let you go, as always, we want to remind you that you were purposefully and wonderfully created. You were created to do great things. Plumb like a champion. Bye, everybody.